Hey, Angie. Hi, Lisa. Good evening, everybody. Hi, Charles and Razzle. Hi, Deb. Hi, Jeannie and Debbie. Hey, Kimberly. Hi, Ollie. Oh, my word. Yeah, that was a big jump. Hi, Keldon. Hi, Sandra. We're doing good. Hope you are doing good today. We've had a less humid day again today. And tomorrow, I think, also is going to be a little bit less humid. So we got out a little bit earlier. They've done been snacking for, we've been, done been out here for a little while. Hi, Jan. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Tina and Victoria. Hi, Joanne, Kim, Mary, Grandma, Grandma to Chloe. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Hi, Susan. I think I got everybody now. I had to go back up for a minute. Everybody that's on that I can see anyway. There's Bear in the back. That's not very cool, is it, Debbie? Hi, Wendy. Hi, Mary. Yeah, Rooster's got my seat. Rachel, if you're on here or listening, I saw your message on Facebook, so hopefully you found it. I just saw your message on Facebook. Hi, Rifa. Where'd everybody go? He did, Christina. There he is in the back. Birdie's over here. Thank you, Teresa. We think he is a cutie pie, too. Feeling good, Mary. Hope everybody on here is having a good day. Hi, Jan. This one's Birdie. Hi, Linda. Hi, Kim. Hi, Michelle. That, this one's Birdie, um, Christina. Yeah, I haven't heard of that one, Deb. This one's Rooster. <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Bethany. I can't see you, Rooster, if I'm carrying you. I can't see you if you're hanging on to me. Uh, Wendy, they have a huge play space that they can go in when we're cooking. Or eating or having family functions or anything like that. Oh, sorry you've been missing us, Deanna. Glad you made this one. Lucy's over in the back. It has been better here too today, Linda. 
we just have less humidity for sure. Oh, that's awesome, Wendy. Watching in the UK, she says it's midnight. All right, we're gonna watch Lucy because I think she's going up to do her big jump, maybe. We'll see. She's been jumping like crazy up here. There's Bear. I'll wait till she gets in her spot. Tell me, Kevin, when to look. Hey, Mallory. It has been a nice day. Hey, Kathy and Pamela. Well, there she is. <laughs> she came down fast. He likes our chairs, Sandra. He likes getting in them for sure whenever we get up. I don't anymore, Kim. That's just what she does. So that one's Lucy. This one over here is Birdie. Hi, Alta. Thanks, Keldon. It's a rooster sitting right there. He has. He's getting so good at bug hunting, Pamela. Yeah, he's right there, Jeannie. Right in the middle of the screen. Oh, that sounds awesome, Samantha. Sounds fun. Did you catch a bug? Hmm? Huh? Did you? No? You looking for some? See, I'm always looking for bugs, ain't you? Always bug hunting. Kevin took the birds over there, some apples and pears too, so that's what they're down eating. Hey, Heather. Where'd Birdie go? Birdie's the only one I'm missing. Hi, Cindy. Yeah, that's what he likes to do, Kim. Or come show them to you while he's squeezing them. Hi, Renee. There she is. She's right there. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Sandra and Judy. He don't go as high, Jeannie, but he does go high sometimes, just like right now. He's up there with them. Thank you, Jennifer. 
Carter's doing good. We hear from him every day. Of course, he wishes it was over, but he's doing good. Thanks for asking. Thank you, Heather. Alta, he's right there in the tree. He'll come down here in just a minute. They're all up in the trees at the moment. Hey, Cindy. Now Birdie's coming over. Closer to where they are. She's wanting a snack. She's gonna get her a bite of sweet potatoes. Thank you, Debbie. You gonna get them all in my seat, Birdie. You eating sweet taters? Hey, look here. everybody hi hi maria oh, she don't want none to go to waste hi colleen hi connie hope you're doing good too here comes rooster there went Lucy crashing down <laughs> somewhere. Hey, Belkis. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> there, was, there went a rooster jump. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> There's a rumble in the slide. Lucy, you better come back down here. Come here, Lucy. Hi, Joe. She's making her way. Come on, Lucy. Hi, Pam. Always, Colleen. He's always wound up. Well, can't really see none of them at the moment, except for Birdie right there on the top of the thing. Rooster, what are you doing? He's in the pen. He's in Kevin's pen. Kevin hadn't had to sit in it in for a few days. Anyway, he's been good. There comes Lucy. Lucy. Uh, mainly just cooked, Keldon. What's your cat's name, Heather? <laughs> you see Maui, Maui flying, Lucy? Luke. Hi, Luke. Hi, Luke. Hi, kitty, kitty. <laughs> See if he does his little crisscross arms here. 
crossover arms. I like it when they do that. Go, Rooster. Uh, Debbie, the Cavalier King Charles. Possibly this weekend if we can make the travel work. Hey, Leanne. We got to meet them about, we told them we could do about a two. They're about five hours away from us. But I think we're going to meet halfway, do a little bit over two hours both, and then it won't be so hard on everybody. Yeah, we've heard, I've been around some, they're very sweet, and, you know, you always hear good things about that breed also, which we still love our doodles. But since we retired our big mamas um, and didn't plan, the thing about the Bernice Mountain Dogs are they're great dogs, um, but the mamas do not make good mamas. Um, they're just so big, and... You have to be super careful with all the puppies. They're real clumsy, and just if they step on them or anything, it can hurt them. So we don't want to get any more Bernice Mountain Dog Mamas. So the King Charles Cavaliers has the same similar look, but is much smaller and uh, won't have to be groomed if they have, which the Bernice Mountain Dogs didn't have to be groomed either. But um, that's, that's the reason we kind of went with that breed too. All similar looks to our Golden Doodles and Bernie Doodles. I said I wasn't going to do any other breeds, but never say never, I guess. Because <laughs> I do love that breed. We do, Rooster. Hey, Rhonda. So we get the little boy first this weekend, I think. And his name is going to be Goose. We're going to name him Goose. Unless I change my mind. And I don't think I will. But I have been known to do that. I just love the way he walks. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Bobby. Oh, cool. Congratulations, Michelle. Michelle says she's getting a new puppy, too. Uh, Heather, no. None of ours are uh, able to make babies. They have all had their surgeries, even the boys. That helps with their temperament as they mature also is the reason we've done the boys too. Oh, that's cute, Debbie. There's another Debbie on here. Hi, Debbie. He does sometimes, Jan. Yeah, I love those dogs too, Pam. Very sweet dogs. I like, there's not much, many animals. I, I could say that pretty much with every breed. <laughs> I love them all. <laughs> hey, Lucy. Oh, Lordy. Let's not imagine that, Keldon. <laughs> We're good, Bobby. How are you? Oh, that's awesome, Joe. Y'all, you know we love our Bronco. He's a, he's a great dog. Golden Trievers make... Uh, golden Retrievers make great dogs also. Debbie says she has two rat terriers. They're sweet too. I'll go over here and see Bear. Kevin's talking to him and r rubbing on him while he's sitting for a minute. He must be tired. Eric says, I'm not a nice person, just waiting on Kevin to fall. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's okay. It's funny. If, he, if I fall, laugh at me too. Glad you called us, Donna. Thank you. 
Uh, yes, Kim, that's, well, I say yes, we we may not, but that's that's kind of the plan. That's what we've got in the back of our mind, but it will be a couple, couple of years before that happens. Um, but a lot can change in a couple of years, so it depends on the health of them uh, and how well they do too. So that's the plan, but that plan may change. Just depends on how everything goes between now and two years. Because we've got dogs along the way, just like Bronco. He was Everybody thought we was going to breed, breed Bronco, but we didn't. We got him just for the monkeys. And we've got the French Bulldogs we didn't ever breed. We've gotten several dogs along the way that we've just not bred. We just wanted them and had them fixed right away. Bronco was the vet's, our vet's last puppy that wasn't sold. And Kevin was up there looking at the, or I think he, he was up there with a litter of our puppies. And he was talking to our vet about his puppies. And he said, well, I got one left. So Kevin went and looked. And then Kevin calls me and says, do you want a puppy? Well, well who's going to say no to that? <laughs> so that's how Bronco came about. He's up at the barn, Mary. He is, Tammy. He seems like he's more back to himself now. Uh, Carolyn, if they're talking about the one where he, he was running after the rainstorm, that's been, I posted it several times, but it's, I don't remember the last time I posted it, maybe a month or two ago, but it is a funny one. Uh, Debbie, right now, we're not going to take any deposits just because I want to make sure. How, that's With that being two years in advance, I don't want to take anybody's money and keep anybody's money that long. Um, I want to wait and make sure everything's going to go well and that kind of thing before we start. But definitely keep watch on the page, and you can message me anytime about it, too. Hi, DRJ Spin. Hi with lyrics. Thank you. Hi, Julie. I missed some comments. Sorry. We also, this week is going to be harder for us because we've started keeping uh, Sutton again all five days. Yes, Raza, we are still breeding the doodles. Um, we're just not getting any more of the purebred Bernice Mountain Dogs. But yes, we still are breeding the Golden Doodles and Bernie Doodles. Um, hi, Penny. But we school starting back, so we don't have a temporary help anymore. So we got him every week, which I think she's taking off this Friday, so we won't have him Friday. But normally we're going to have him back to five days a week. That one's Lucy in the in the distance, about to jump. <laughs> and then Birdie to the left of her. Rooster's sleepy, I guess. Where's your glasses, Rooster? We found uh we found them the cutest little hat today. I haven't tried it on them yet, but it's gonna fit them perfect. So I've got to try to get them used to that. If I can get a picture with the hat and the glasses, I'll be happy. At the same time, that may be pushing it a little. <laughs> We're going to try, though. Rooster's gotten much better about stuff like that. Hey, Judy. Thank you. Are you CP, Rooster? It was actually, I went to get uh, puppy collars, and we found the hat. It's actually a puppy hat, but it was perfect for them. Hey, 
Hi, Rachel. Likes chewing and breaking sticks. Hey, Amber. Once the sun goes down a little bit better, we'll go over on the playground. That would be fun, Kim. Uh, Debbie, no, they're not full grown. So bear will probably get to be about four more pounds maybe, and the spiders should at least grow, I would think, more, uh, like 10 more pounds maybe. Hi, Krista. Thank you. He gets relaxed out here sometimes, the uh, DRJ spin, and does that. He just likes to get pampered for a minute, and then he'll get back up and start playing. You showing us your foots? Hmm. You showing us your foots? Oh, you got your eyes closed. You going to sleep? You going to sleepy? Now would be a good time to put his sunglasses on. You gonna put your glasses on, Rooster? You gonna show everybody your glasses again? Let me turn at this angle so we can see. See your glasses. Oh my goodness. Such a cool little monkey. Let him get him. See what he does. Oh, you want him back on? You need help? There you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, just leave him on your head. There you go. <laughs> He says, I'd rather chew them. Oh, he's so handsome. Oh, he wants to know what you're doing with them. He put them up, Rooster. Up, oh, Rooster. <laughs> Y'all see him trying to pull up, push his belly in? <laughs> it's funny <laughs> he's trying to make that belly go in so he can see what's down there <laughs> you rotten boy rooster uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh with lyrics i wanted we had those names saved because I'm always keeping names for puppies. Um, and so whenever I knew that we were getting them, it's just names that I thought fit. And then, of course, Lucy came to us named being a, re a rescue rehome. So we didn't want to change her name and confuse her. And Lucy was cute and fits her. So we just left hers Lucy. But yes, they are all animal themed names, of course. <laughs> Keldon said hard being a stud, ain't it, Rooster? <laughs> He's just got that old Grinch belly. Rooster. 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 <laughs> They are all fixed, Krista. That's to help with their age, um, as to help with them maturing. Hi, Jennifer. That's true, Keldon. <laughs> Perfect ruined. He's trying to sneak up on a bug. Watch him. <laughs> He's tiptoeing. 
Did you get him, Bear? Did you get that grasshopper? Huh? Get him. Where'd he go? Where'd that grasshopper go? <laughs> Hi, Ann. Yeah, he was after a grasshopper. Walk over here, Kev. He was trying to be sneaky. Hi, Sandra. does if he's going to try to find another bug. There he goes again. Tiptoeing through the grass trying to sneak up on him. Yeah. Colleen says, like Elmer Fudd, be very, very quiet. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Uh, I think so, Michelle. I think there's, they'll, I think they go up to a 4X. So y'all remember tomorrow is when the shirts and sweatshirts and all that goes on sale. Uh, I think we ended up just doing one color for everything to keep everything simple. Um, it was a color. We have to, the thing is in the winter, there's not a lot of choices for one. Um, and with sweatshirts and hoodies, there's not a lot of choices. So we just went with one color and it looked, it was a pretty color for all everything. For the plane logo, for the Christmas and the fall. It's a real pretty blue, um, and then I think we did do a gray also in like the sweaters or other sweatshirts. Just a regular gray that'll go with everything. So I'll post the link uh, on Facebook tomorrow and I'll post it on here also. For anyone that wants to order those, and remember this is your last chance to get a shirt. So the order, we'll have the order up until the 12th and then take it down and that's when we'll get everything started and have them shipped out by uh, the 1st of September. That was Birdie. Yeah, that was Birdie that just jumped. Rooster's still being lazy. Jump, Lucy. Go, Lucy. Well, happy early birthday, Nicole. <laughs> Birdie? Mm-hmm. Just dragging his little toes. Oh, she's wanting to flip. Do a flip, Lucy. Do a flip. Come on, Lucy. Come out here, Lucy. Come do a flip. Come on. Come on. Go, Lucy. Go, Lucy. Oh, she thought about it and then didn't do it. <laughs> she ain't warmed up yet. No, nope, she's got to get warmed up. I know, it did stink, Debbie. Uh, you should be able to order from here, Mary. When I post the link, all you'll have to do is click that website link. I'll share that, like I said, tomorrow. Probably tomorrow morning, first thing. Here's Rooster. So we probably won't, like I said, we won't do it again until probably spring of next year for t-shirts again. Lucy, flip. Go flip. Go flip. 
Almost three years, getting close to three years, Angie. Welcome to the page. <clears throat> no, Susan, none of them have that one this time. That may be something we do special, like a special order one time in the future. Because that one, I think, would be a favorite for a lot of people. Yeah, he don't seem to mind them too bad, Macy. He he actually tries to put our glasses on himself. He just don't want them on that long once he does it. Oh, wow. Not, Angie says she has nine. What kind do you have, Angie? Thank you for saying you love the page. So you feel our pain then. <laughs> you know our challenges in life. There she goes, starting to get wound up. Go, Lucy. Do flip. Go, Lucy. Go, Lucy. Lucy, go. Are you going to flip? Hi, Terry. There you go. <laughs> Uh, yes, Robin, they do. So if you've ever had comfort color uh, in, in sweatshirts or anything, they do run true to size, and that's what these are going to be, except for the hoodies. The hoodies are not comfort color because they don't make a hoodie, um, but they do. The hoodies run true to size also. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? It would be cute, Keldon, for sure. Hi, Jama. Hi, Carrie. Thank you, Angie. Did I, Angie? Did you say what kind you have? I may have missed it. If you did, hi, Kay. Kay, you're on the live. We're still live. <sighs> Hi, Rachel. Yes, so you definitely have your hands full with three capuchins. <laughs> that was enough said right there. <laughs> She's got five squirrels, three capuchins, and one debraza. Those are cute, too. Hi, Lynette. Birdie, Birdie's demanding to be rubbed back there in the background. When he stops rubbing, she makes him do it again. Watch. He is a really good capuchin, Angie. He is seriously awesome. He does, I mean, he has his, capuchins are just capuchins, but he's a really good capuchin for sure. We hardly have any issues out of him at all. Other than not sharing with the spiders so much, but that's that's a capuchin thing too. Good job, Lucy. They don't like to share. And he's the boss. He thinks he's the boss always. And they they right now he is the boss, even to them.
she's still doing it. I wasn't watching at the moment. Yeah, you'll have to look it up, Debbie. They're really cute. Oh, that's cool, Robin. Yeah, I really, Angie, I really don't know much about them other than the way they look. As far as their temperaments and stuff, I don't know much about them. Or like their uh, size. I don't know what, like, what size they get up to. Are they kind of like a, um, oh, what's the other one? Uh, my mind just went blank. The one that was at that monkey show we was at, Kevin. What are those called? I forget. A macaque. <laughs> Marquette. <laughs> a macaque. Yes, a macaque. Do they get as big as the macaques? My mind just went blank. I totally know that, but I just I had a brain fart. Or do they say smaller? I can't remember. I have Krista. Krista. She seems like she does a really good job with her monkeys. I didn't know they didn't like to go outside, though. They are awesome, Angie. Spider monkeys are just really sweet. Birdie, are you getting pampered over there? Oh, wow, Terry. I don't know that that would be a great situation. <laughs> So one of her teachers at elementary school had a capuchin monkey in a large cage in a classroom. That could be a dangerous thing. Bear's gonna hit a ride. Bear, no he's not, <laughs> never mind. Bear, Bear. get off of her. Get off of her. Don't need no get off of her. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all hear what he said? <laughs> We don't need no baby capiters. <laughs> that would be what the breed would be. It'd be a baby capiter. <laughs> I don't know where you, I don't know where you come up with this stuff. <laughs> oh lordy. I thought he was just gonna ride like he normally does, but he's riding in a different kind of way. <laughs> oh me. Let's see. Uh, Angie, we do not want any more monkeys. I don't want to say I'm not going to do it because never say never again. But it would have to be a really unique situation, like a younger baby, something like that, that we could help take in. Definitely not uh, going through the processes that we've been through at all, ever again. Um, but it would just, like I say, it would have to be a really unique situation. <laughs> yeah, a capiter. Pretty funny. <laughs> no, 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 birdie. Birdie's got the camera. Hang on. Help me, Kevin. She ain't letting go either. <laughs> Sorry. Help. Her little hands, when she grabs something, she don't want to let go. Whew. Okay, I got it back. You naughty boy. You naughty little monkey. What is your issue? 
So even though they're fixed, as you can say, as you can see, they still have their moments where they like to practice, I guess you'd say. <laughs> So if you want to know if they get along pretty well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Barry, we don't want no capiters running around. I don't know what that would do to the world. Yeah, Terry, that's I figured I figured they did, but I'm just I just meant with kids being involved. I don't know that I would trust that. It would be scary for me to risk that because if they ever was to bite or scratch a kid, they would take them away. That would be what my concern would be for sure. See you, Keldon. Now I got birdie and rooster on me. They got a bug. Yeah. Hi Trina. I hope your move went well. Glad you're back. We're doing good and Carter's doing good. Thank you. I hope you're doing good. Yeah, Deb. The naughty one sleeps with us. Oh, Suzanne, I wish you could. Um, we was live on Facebook yesterday and here tonight. Probably Facebook again tomorrow. That's so sweet, though, Suzanne. Pretty true, Jennifer. <laughs> they said their daddy taught them everything they know. <laughs> he said, agree. Yeah. He's licking Kevin's ears and trying to groom what, what hair he has left after he shaved it the other day. His hand looks so big from here. Hey, roosters. He is much smaller than the spiders, Kim. He's only four and a half pounds. Oh, no. It's like a nightmare. Oh, but the last option sounds like it turned out to be good. <laughs> sounds like it went okay in the end. Hi, Sue. See you, Angie. Them one day just for the heck of it. She said some college uh, uh, college hunks ended up moving her. <laughs> That's the name of their business. Yeah. College hunk, Paul and Junk. Rooster. It's gone. Here, look here. Can you say hi? Look here. Come here where I can see you. Come here where I can see you. There you go. There you go. Hi, Gail. They are a little bit laid back tonight, Sue.
Where's Lucy? Lucy. They are pretty sweet. Bear kisses. Ain't they? Are they pretty sweet? Hmm. Hi, Heather. Her bug on me. You eating grass? She says you left me. Are you still eating a bug? Or is that grass? That's grass. Like a little piece of a bug. Can I see your hand? Look here. Let me see your hand. There you go. There you go. <laughs> what are you doing, Knucklehead? What are you doing? Oh, you grabbed it again, you little stink. Hang on. Sorry, she's making y'all drunk tonight. He went and got a spoon now so they can try to steal that instead of his glasses. He's going to get you, Lucy. She just jerked Bear's tail and ran. <laughs> Did she get you, Bear? Let's see what she does this time. Oh, Rooster's sitting in the swing. Lucy. You want me swing you, Rooster? Sit still and I'll swing you. Here, you want me swing you? You ready? Hold on. They do, Judy. They enjoy it. <clears throat> we took them to several playgrounds when they were little out in public. And, uh, uh Rooster, that's a bee. It'll sting you. Go away. Um, don't touch it. Uh -uh. Um, and we knew that when they got older, we wouldn't be able to do that as much. So we knew we had to do something here. Hi, Amy. It is, Razzle. It kills me every time. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. It is hard to say because they all are funny in their own ways for sure. 
Thank you, Krista. It's a little over 80 acres. Rooster's just dangling his leg and his foot's touching the grass. Now Birdie's having a crazy moment. He's getting much better, Trina. He hadn't flew it in a few days, but he is getting um, a lot better flying the drone. Need to do that yeah, he needs to do it again this afternoon. Go, Birdie. Birdie, jump. <laughs> Poor Birdie. Our little clumsy one. Uncoordinated monkey. Oh, there went a rooster twirl. I have not, Trina. It is cute, so I love it. Bear, you want to jump? Bear, you want to come jump? I don't know if he's in the mood. You have to go see if he's in the mood or not. I know it would kill my knees too. He's always set like that though. Jump bear. Bear jump. There you go. He is in the mood. Go bear. Go bear. He had your beard. Go, bear. <laughs> He's a flying monkey. Go, bear. Jump. That's a good one. Can you smile? Bear, watch where your face goes. Put that thing up. Go jump, bear. <laughs> oh, he's grabbing that bar. <laughs> Go jump, bear. Go jump. Go, bear. Jump. He's grooming right now. He found something on the back of your head. Well, he's definitely in the mood to jump tonight. Whoop, Lucy. <laughs> Go, bear. <laughs> He'll just jump from anywhere. Go, bear. Bear. Hmm. Bear, jump. Go. There you go. Good boy. Welcome, Crystal. We have four. We have one capuchin and three spider monkeys. Uh, Sue, we sh might be getting one this weekend. And the other one will be... I'm not sure yet. It depends on our travel arrangements because that one's even further away. We're not going to get that one, though, because it is so far away in Oklahoma. They're going to bring it to us. That would be too hard of a drive on them. Here, Birdie. Here. Want that? Oh, don't grab the camera. We are, Trina. We're getting some, um, a, two or three new puppies, actually. Uh, King Charles Cavalier Spaniels. The little boy this weekend, and then two other little girls coming up soon.
They're smooth, Bobby. They're much, they're a lot like ours. See you, Connie. No, Sue, so from different, different, all of them are from different people. Oh, thank you, Amy. Are they on here right now? What's their names? And I'll tell them hi. What is it, Rooster? What do you see? Did you see a bug? He's, there's a bug in the grass, I think. Go look, Bear. Go look for that bug. Hi, Beth. Hi, Carol and Will. Welcome to our family. Our crazy life. Uh, Beth, his hands are, they are in a way, but then they're more like ours and, uh, than the spiders are. Bring him over here and I'll show him his hands and feet again. If he's willing. A willing participant. He usually is sometimes. So his hands are much like ours. They even have the little creases and everything. They're just small. And then his feet are different, but they're really soft and cute too. Can I see your hand one more time? Let me see it one more time. There we go. He does have big feet. Their feet, even the spider monkeys, their feet are bigger than their body. It is funny, their hands and their feet. But I love their hands and their feet. Go, Lucy. Is it Lucy or Birdie? I can't tell. I've lost them. I just see feet hanging out. Lucy, birdie, jump. I like they're both in there. It was it is both of them. Lucy came out. No, Pamela, they don't. You may have been saying that. You may already know that. But if you were asking, they don't. Uh, Carl, I'm not sure what you mean. It does me too, Kim. Uh, Rhonda, no, we have not took them to the beach. We've been to the mountains several times. We've been out west to like Jackson Hole, uh, but we have not been to the beach. The beach is not, we used to go to the beach all the time, so it's not our favorite place to go anymore. We'd rather go out west. Um, so we have not and probably won't ever take them to the beach. I'm not sure, but probably not.
They like to eat this little part of the grass that, like the root end is what they like to eat of the grass. Yeah, it has the more of the nutrients and stuff in it, I think. He squeezes it out and eats it. Kind of like a like what you would do with a honeysuckle. He's wanting some more. But that's actually good for him, too. I haven't seen plantain as much this year, have you? Bear, look at me so I can see what you're doing. You eating it? Didn't know I me? Mean? I don't know where everybody went. I think you're in that tunnel. Ooh, there's a good one there. Uh, I think he will, Deb Debbie. He should have them. We expect him to have them. Birdie's got her a piece, too. I'm going to rub your belly. I'm going to get your belly. I'm going to get him in the belly. He's gotten so much better with Kevin lately, too. He used to wouldn't let Kevin help do much nothing, but now he does. He knows I'm a good person. <laughs> He knows he ain't got no other choice. <laughs> I'm just there kidding. Go, there. <laughs> There's Lucy. But no, he has gotten much better. If I if I needed him away from me before, he would scream if I tried to give him to Kevin and things like that. Not that Kevin's ever been bad to him. He just wanted me more. But now he's got to where he's okay with it, which makes my life easier. That's what I'm here for. Yes, it is. Get down to the root bear. Get it good. Peel all of them off first. You got your way of doing it, don't you? Oh, <laughs> to heck with that one, he says, and just slung it. <laughs> now Birdie got it. Kevin's picking them some more. So there's the other two. Rooster's just watching, and so is Lucy. I guess we've wore them out today. <laughs> Turn around this way. There you go. You got a system, ain't you, Bear? Hmm? You got a system? What is that hollering? You hear it? Are y'all two gonna come down and play? You sleepy? Here's Birdie's foot. Hold it out. It's almost the size of my hand. So it goes to about an inch from being as big as my hand. Birdie, let's not do that. Let's not do that. And then her hand hand is right here. No thumb. All right, you guys sit up. Birdie. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, she always does the little French girl leg up in the air. <laughs> Pose. Here. You gonna put your leg back up in the air? No, I don't feel like that, Carl. They got lots of play space, Amy. We wore them out today. <clears throat> Yeah, probably so, Carl. That's what they're trying to do anyway. Rooster quit. Set him up. <laughs> You just got dirt all over me, boy. Dangling that little foot. <laughs> Lucy, come here. Lucy. We had a little hummingbird fly up last night on camera. Lucy saw it. That was sweet. <laughs> Did you get pooped on? No. <laughs> What'd he do? I did see that, Holly. Did you poop on Daddy Bear? Did he? It was just a little turd. <laughs> Bear. He didn't mean to. <laughs> it was an accident. Yeah. <laughs> Did you poo poo on him? <laughs> Y'all know the old saying it happens. <laughs> uh, Sue, so it does at times right here. She's she, sorry, bear. What is it? Oh. <laughs> They're grabbing his nose with their tail. Uh, she's asking about the hair on his tail missing. So he does that a couple times at least a year. And what that is that we have been told is it's it's a lack of vitamins that our natural environment uh, don't, don't have that his natural environment would have. Um, and sometimes it's just like they've told us to put um, UV, is it UVB, UVA or something bulbs in the house, but we can't do that because of my skin cancer issues. But that light bulb, I think, would help, too. Um, but we can't do that. Because I think it has to do with them, them not being outside and in the sun as much also. But just lack of vitamins and natural nutrients that we can't provide that would he could get in his natural environment. But it always comes back. But there are times that it gets worse and uh, times that it's... Right now, it's not bad at all. It's just a little piece. But then it'll come back all the way full, and then a couple times, two or three times, it'll do it a year. He'll look like he has a little stripe missing all the way down. But it's not just him. Like, the three little rascals monkeys do it. 
pretty much all the capuchins that I know does it. We don't notice things like that on uh, the spiders. I was gonna put a UVB, if I'm saying that right, or whatever they are, the light bulbs. If uh, I was gonna do it, but I just just can't do it with my, all my issues. I've actually got to go the 18th um, to possibly get another place taken off my forehead. Um, so y'all may be getting to see me with some pretty stitches again soon. That place that always looks like a scab on my head where I've had other places done, that's that's where I'm talking about because it's a constant scab right now. It just opens up and bleeds all the time. It's okay. I guess it's just one of them things that's, that's my, that's my cards that I've been dealt with so far. Just lots of skin cancer issues. But luckily it's the good kind to have as far as if there is a good kind. It's the non-spreading kind. Yes, basil cell, Sue. I just wish they weren't on my face. <laughs> Any other place I wouldn't care, but we don't get to pick. That'll be an issue with Bear probably trying to pick stitches if I end up do having to have stitches again. <clears throat> it's funny we were on vacation the last time I had it done about a year or so ago and we pulled up to the campsite and this couple came up to us and saw the monkeys of course right away and they were saying hi and talking to them and they said did the monkey do that to your head <laughs> we just laughed I said no I just had surgery surgery done but I think they were scared the monkeys was gonna bite them this just dirt <laughs> it was dirt yeah. Lucy Lucy she's watching the sunset leave her alone <laughs> <laughs> it's about gone Yeah, I've had a big one on my chest, uh, so part of my lip has been taken out on the left side of my face. So if y'all notice that I have a crooked smile, that's why. Uh, I've got a knot on my head. I've had lots of places. <laughs> Bear, quit. Uh-uh. Here. Quit being jealous. That was Bear being ugly to Rooster and Rooster screaming about it. Come here. Come here, let me get you. What was it over? I was rubbing him. Oh, just being jealous of attention. Mm -hmm. He was being jealous of attention. Uh, we've done it ever since they were little, little Carl, and they naturally, even in the wild, don't want to leave their family or their troop. Holly, we have not. Why well, you got to be jealous, Bear? Hmm. No, Rooster's not high maintenance. That was, um, Bear was picking on him at the moment, so he was screaming about it. She's just waiting on No, it was Rooster screaming. She's waiting on the school bus. <laughs> Are you waiting on the school bus, Birdie? <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. We don't, Krista, believe it or not. Yeah, I don't think I could take that, Holly. It wouldn't be an enjoyable trip, I don't think, for me. They may, I'm not sure, I haven't asked her if they're on more of a secluded place. 
um, at the beach, but I'll ask her eventually. But I haven't asked about how people do and if they come up to her and bother her and things like that. I know if there's people there, they do, but... He does, me too, Sue. She says you crack her up when you do speak. <laughs> I was trying to swap. Does Birdie want to talk? Birdie, you want to answer some questions? Are you feeling good tonight? Hmm? A little tired. <laughs> Are you a little sweepy? Little. Can you tell everybody hi? No. <laughs> you just gonna close your eyes? Yep. So what's up? Bad dream. <laughs> Say what's up, Birdie? You not gonna tell him? Hi, everybody. <laughs> Is your daddy silly, Birdie? No great person. <laughs> <laughs> Best dad ever. Yes. <laughs> mm. Birdie. Birdie. Oh, she went. <sighs> <laughs> Are we aggravating you, Birdie? Huh? Are we aggravating? Mm. Got anything else to say? Not really. You gonna tell one of your sayings <laughs> on the live? You better make it nice. If you do. If you go to bed with a stinky butt, <laughs> <laughs> you wake up with a hitchy finger. <laughs> <laughs> with a itchy finger. That might have been back. <laughs> I knew what was coming. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> you need to say it again. They don't know what you meant. <laughs> yeah, <baby. laughs> One more time, Birdie. <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to bed with an itchy butt, <laughs> you wake up with a stinking finger. <laughs> We've lost it. We've officially lost it. <laughs> that was right that time. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, y'all may not want to hear his sayings, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm crying. Mm. <laughs> it's the perfect fitting for Birdie, too. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> Birdie's our little diaper digger. That was your saying, Birdie, for the week. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I've heard all of his sayings, but I never know which one's going to come out. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I looked for a book today, Colleen. I was looking at the little um, Dr. Seuss books. I need to get one. I ended up not getting one today, but I, I looked at several today. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Birdie. That was awful, wasn't it? <laughs> Who told you all these sayings? My papa. <laughs> His papa told him all these sayings that he's are gonna be hearing <laughs> <laughs> over the time. Uh yes, they definitely do fart. <laughs> Sometimes loud.
Anything else, Birdie? Oh, what was that? I think it was one of the doggies. I heard a noise. You got anything else to say tonight? Can you tell everybody good night? Hmm? So we've had a good evening. Yeah, whatever you do, Jamie, don't pull Kevin's finger. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Oh, beggar. It's okay. It is okay. What are you fussing about? Huh? What is it? Tell everybody good night. Tell them thanks for hanging out with us. Say thanks for hanging out during naked time. I don't know where else you could hang out with naked time with anybody else. Can they, Birdie? Hmm? Get in trouble if you have naked time with anybody else. <laughs> Just monkey naked time. All right, everybody, we're going to get off here and get them settled and get them ready for bed and get us ready for bed because we get old Sutton McCoy in the morning bright and early at 630. He hmm. <laughs> keeps us on our toes all day, too. Y'all have a great afternoon, and we'll see you again this week, hopefully. Yeah, everybody wash your butts before bed. <laughs> That's the takeaway for tonight. <laughs> everybody make sure your butts are cleaned. <laughs> Too funny. All right, see y'all, everybody.